Can you picture an animal that defends itself by throwing out its own guts? That's not the setup for a horror story, that's real biology. The sea cucumber, one of the ocean's strangest and least understood creatures, survives by turning its own body inside out. When danger approaches, it launches its internal organs like sticky nets, tangling enemies in a grotesque but effective defense. Later, as if nothing happened, it simply regenerates what was lost. Imagine if a human could survive by spitting out their intestines and then calmly grow them back a few weeks later. Absurd, revolting, but astonishingly brilliant. Sea cucumbers belong to a group of animals called echinoderms, relatives of sea stars and sea urchins. Yet unlike their spiny cousins, they look like soft, sluggish sausages stretched across the seafloor. At first glance, they seem dull, almost lifeless, but appearances deceive. Hidden within their strange bodies are adaptations so radical that they challenge our very notions of what life can be. The Greek philosopher Heraclitus once said, Nature loves to hide. The sea cucumber is proof. Its genius lies beneath the grotesque disguise of a shapeless tube. These creatures are ancient survivors. Fossils show sea cucumbers existed more than 400 million years ago, long before mammals or even dinosaurs. They endured mass extinctions, changing oceans, shifting continents, and still persist today in vast numbers across the seabeds of every ocean. In a way, they are the quiet custodians of the deep. They don't roar, they don't bite, they don't chase prey. Instead, they filter the sand itself, eating detritus and tiny particles, recycling nutrients, and keeping the marine ecosystem balanced. Without them, Many coral reefs and coastal systems would collapse. They are the earthworms of the sea, invisible, uncelebrated, but essential. And yet their defense strategy remains the most shocking. When a predator, such as a fish or crab, dares to attack, the sea cucumber contracts violently and ejects cuvirian tubules, long, white, sticky filaments that burst out of its rear end like grotesque ribbons. These threads entangle and immobilize the attacker, buying the cucumber time to crawl away. If that's not strange enough, some species also expel their entire digestive system. Yes, they literally puke out their guts. Imagine a burglar breaking into your house and your response is to throw your liver and stomach at him. The predator is disgusted or distracted, and meanwhile, you slink away. Weeks later, your body grows a new digestive tract, good as new. This is not resilience, this is over-the-top biological sorcery. This raises a fascinating philosophical thought. Friedrich Nietzsche once wrote, that which does not kill us makes us stronger. The sea cucumber takes this literally. What nearly kills it, the violent loss of organs, only proves its strength because it can replace what was lost. It embodies a radical resilience, a biological defiance against fragility. While humans obsess over avoiding damage, the sea cucumber accepts destruction as part of survival. Maybe there's a strange lesson here. Sometimes survival is not about keeping everything intact, but about being able to rebuild after the worst happens. Their body structure itself is alien. Sea cucumbers don't have a brain in the way we think of it. Instead, they rely on a nerve ring around their mouth and nerve cords running down their body. They operate in a decentralized way, almost like a living network rather than a central command system. In the age of distributed technology and blockchain, it's funny to realize that sea cucumbers mastered decentralization hundreds of millions of years ago. They are, in a way, living analogs to systems that resist collapse by avoiding a single point of failure. You can't kill their brain because they don't have one. Their skin contains microscopic structures called ossicles, giving them toughness, but also the ability to shift between firmness and softness. In some moments, they can stiffen like rubber. In others, they melt into jelly to squeeze into crevices. Samurai strategist Miyamoto Musashi said, Be like water. The sea cucumber outdoes that advice. It is sometimes water, sometimes stone, always adapting, never predictable. Let's not overlook their ecological role. As they crawl along the seabed, they suck in sand and organic debris, digesting the nutrients and excreting clean sediment. 
In a single year, a dense population of sea cucumbers can reprocess vast amounts of seafloor material. This constant cleaning is critical. They remove excess organic matter, prevent suffocating buildup, and recycle nitrogen and phosphorus that feed plankton and corals. Without their slow, tireless labor, coastal ecosystems would drown in their own waste. In many cultures, people ignore the sea cucumber or see it as a bizarre delicacy. But in truth, they are environmental janitors without whom oceans would falter. Even their reproduction has eccentric twists. During certain times of year, thousands of sea cucumbers gather and release clouds of sperm and eggs into the water, a chaotic symphony of life. The sight is surreal, lifeless sausages suddenly rising upward, lifting their bodies and ejecting streams of gametes into the currents. It's unromantic, almost ridiculous, but effective. The ocean swirls with millions of drifting embryos, a reminder that survival sometimes favors quantity over subtlety. And yes, humans have noticed. Sea cucumbers are prized in traditional medicine and cuisine, especially in East Asia. They are believed to enhance vitality, heal wounds, and improve longevity. Whether or not these claims hold scientific weight, the fascination itself is telling. Across cultures, people recognize that this strange animal holds hidden power. To consume the sea cucumber is to borrow a piece of its resilience, its ability to regenerate. As Confucius once said, wisdom is not in seeing what is new, but in seeing what is old. The sea cucumber has been here since ancient oceans, and maybe we intuitively sense its quiet strength. But the real marvel lies in its evolutionary audacity. Nature often works with compromise, but the sea cucumber represents an extreme bet. Defense through self-destruction, survival through surrender. It spits out what it needs most and trusts that time will restore it. In a world obsessed with defense, armor, and barriers, the sea cucumber's strategy is almost paradoxical. Lose everything now to win later. It is a reminder that not all victories come from strength. Some come from the patience to rebuild. Watching one on the seafloor, you'd hardly guess its secrets. A dull tube creeping slowly, mouth opening and closing to sift the sand. But hidden within that quiet shell is an ancient wisdom. Survival doesn't always roar. Sometimes it just waits, sacrifices, and regenerates. There's something almost zen about it. The cucumber does not fight in the traditional sense. It accepts loss, releases, and then renews. Lao Tzu once wrote, to yield is to be preserved whole. The sea cucumber yields violently, disgustingly, brilliantly, and remains whole in the end. So when you think of the ocean's great beasts, the sharks, the whales, the squids, remember the humble sea cucumber. It will never win beauty contests, never star in blockbusters, never thrill with speed or power. But it will survive, as it has for millions of years, by rewriting the rules of defense and resilience. Its strategy is grotesque, yes, but deeply effective. And maybe that's the ultimate lesson of nature. Beauty isn't always pretty, survival isn't always noble, and genius sometimes hides in the strangest forms. Please subscribe, like, and share. Because like the sea cucumber, this channel takes the unexpected and turns it into strength.